We make a lot of back testing strategies on this channel, much like the one you're seeing behind my head right now, but they're always just that. They're always just for back testing purposes. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can utilize ThinkScript code in order to take real money trades to continue further automating your trading. I know you're excited, so hit the like button for me and we'll jump into the content. The strategy that you saw running behind my head during that short intro was a simple moving average crossover strategy. The teal colored line here represents the nine length simple moving average. The salmon colored line represents the 20 length simple moving average. And obviously when the nine crosses above the 20, the trade enters. When the nine crosses back below the 20, the trade exits. And it just exited on the last trading day, a nice win here on SPY from about 438.50 to 477.85. Really nice win, really cool. So you have proven this strategy works. You've gone through your strategy creation, your back testing, you know this works. So obviously the next step for you now is to wait until the nine, uh, the nine SMA crosses back above the 20 SMA, right? And that's all fine and dandy. You'll watch your chart every night. If it happens, you will buy the close. Well, what if I told you there was a way that you could set that order now and when the nine simple moving average closes above the 20 simple moving average, Thinkorswim will automatically enter that trade for you. So you don't have to keep checking your charts and, and making sure that you're always staring at your chart so you don't miss a trade opportunity. You can go to work, spend time with your families, live your lavish life on your yachts. I don't know how you guys are kicking it out there, but you can go do what you want to do. And if your trade, you know, if your trade strategy becomes true, Thinkorswim will automatically take the trade for you. That's what we're about to jump into. So first things first, make sure on your active trade window that you have auto send unchecked because when I hit buy here, I'm going to need my trade confirmation window. This is where we're going to sort of jump into our conditional formatting. So um, I'm going to hit edit on my trade here and it's going to show me a, just a separate window with my trade laid out here buy 100 shares of spy at market that's the order that i placed from here i'm going to click on the cog and that's going to bring up order rules of the trade this first sort of section up here is everything that you would have set over here but for this instance i want to change my time and force we want this order to remain open until the nine crosses above the 20 SMA, right? So uh, you will see down here in your description, if we can skip ahead a little bit, buy 100 SPY at current market price. Yes, the order is valid only for the current trading day. That's because of your time and force. And that's not what we want. We don't want the order to go away at the end of the day. This is a swing trade strategy. We want it to remain open. So I'm going to click on GTC here. And this stands for good till canceled. So now we are placing a good till canceled order. And you will see the description change, right? The order is valid until it is either filled or canceled. So now this order will remain open for as long as it takes for that nine uh, SMA to cross above that 20 SMA. But we still have to teach the computer that, right? So far, the, the, the description is just buy 100 until it's canceled, go. We haven't told it anything about our strategy yet. That's where we're gonna jump down to this condition model. For right now, we're gonna skip over the check boxes in the time. I'll discuss those a little bit later. But for right now, I'm gonna click in here on the symbol so it pops up, click in here on the method, I'm going to go to study and I'm going to go to edit and it's going to bring up our study order condition window. And this is where we're going to tell Thinkorswim what our condition is that needs to be true in order for this order to go be filled right for this order to execute. So for me, I'm going to jump into the ThinkScript editor. I am a ThinkScript coder. I jump into here to do my work. So we want a simple moving average length equals to nine. And we want that to crosses above a simple moving average of 20. And if that is true, we want this order to execute, right? So um, if you're looking at this right now and you're seeing me code, don't worry. In just a second, I'm gonna show you how you can do this easier than having to code. So um, simple moving average length equals nine, crosses above simple moving average length equals 20. I'm gonna enter that. We have now told the machine, we've now told the software what our condition is. And you can see it has added another step in the description. I really like this description field. I really like that it gives you in English what 
the system is looking to do with this order. So we already know buy 100 until canceled. Number two, wait until the following condition is satisfied. Spy study simple moving average length equals nine crosses above simple moving average length equals 20. Perfect. Exactly what we want it to do. This order will show a wait condition status during waiting. Perfect. It's waiting. So when you go look at this order on your monitor window, it'll say wait condition, which is perfectly fine. What you want it to say just means it's waiting for this to become true before it places the order. Now we're going to save and then we'd hit confirm and send. And when you hit that confirm and send, it's going to place the order and it's just going to be in that wait condition. It's going to be in that wait condition until the nine SMA crosses above the 20 SMA. If all of that was a little bit complex, I understand. I just jumped into a modal by clicking around a couple times and then I started typing code. I understand how it can be a little bit confusing. If I jump back into that same uh, modal window and then I hit edit on your condition window, you can also create conditions sort of using a, a little bit more plain English rather than having to jump into coding language here. But I will admit to you that this is a bit limited. If there are very specific things, types of trades that you're going to want to set up, you're not really going to be able to do it from this window. You're going to need to learn a little bit of ThinkScript, but I'm here to help with that. On my website, daytradingstrategies.net, actually for this video and for this reason, I have added a new page called conditional orders under thinkorswim and i'll actually click into it and give you a handful of free ones here but this is going to give you templates that you're going to be able to easily copy and paste so this is the one we just made nine over 20 and of course all you would do is easily change these lengths if you want it to be 50 crosses above the 200 instead however you trade you you copy and paste these templates in and then you can easily change the uh, lengths to whatever you want to be i really like this last one down here volume over the average volume of the last 14 that's a fun uh, sort of day trading one and i'm going to continue so right now this is all that's in here i'm going to continue just adding and adding and adding to this as i come up with new conditional orders to put in so this is now available along with all of the strategies that i have ever worked on making all of the custom indicators that I've ever worked on making all my stock trading scanners are now all available on my website daytradingstrategies.net if you would like to get yourself some conditional order templates obviously along with all that other stuff for just $25 I'm not trying to rip anybody off here I'm not charging thousands and I don't charge per code for $25 you're going to get access to all my stuff so daytradingstrategies.net link at the top of the description if you think it'll add $25 worth of value to your trading. So in that little website advertisement there, I also showed you all a handful of different ways and different examples of how you can use this of different conditional order examples. I actually don't remember exactly what they all were, but exponential moving average crossover. If you just want to take the price closing over the moving average, uh, whether it be simple or moving average exponential, this volume being double the average volume of the last 14 bars you can start to see multiple different ways that you can utilize conditional formatting. And there's obviously unlimited ways. Whatever your strategy is, you will be able to create a conditional order for the strategy. And that's actually something else I'd like to talk about because you're all going to have different strategies and I'm not going to be able to build templates that fit what everybody needs, right? So one more thing I just will bring up quickly that if you are subscribed to the website, once again, for 25 bucks, you are going to get access to email me directly. I think this will be a great way. Hey, Trey, I like to trade this, this, and this. Can you create a conditional order template for me? I'll do my best. If I can create one, I'll create it for you and I'll get back to you that way too. So there's a little bit of more, you know, whatever, whatever type of trading you do, you have access to me to personally help you out. So a little bit more extra shill there. Sorry, but I just wanted to point that out because I think it, I mean, it's just really, really beneficial. I'm obviously biased, but I wish there was a $25 I could have spent on something like this when I was a beginner trader. So anywho, there is one more thing I need to show you. So I've removed that conditional format of the simple moving average crossover because I want to jump up now and talk about these checkboxes, submit at blank, cancel at blank. And I'm not going to insult your intelligence too much. You can probably tell what they're doing. Submit at 
uh, whatever time you want the order to be submitted at and cancel at whatever time you would want the order to be canceled at. Let me just say this first because I was a little bit confused by this layout. This does not need to be checked in order for this to also be true. So when we just built that nine cross over the 20 simple moving average, we didn't have this checked and you could tell that in the description it was still doing that nine over 20, right? The way it's laid out is weird because it this or here is confusing. It makes it look like you have to have this checked for this. You don't. So anyway, this is useful for uh, there, there are traders out there that want to buy spy at 1030 every day. Let that kind of opening hour of, of chop and volatility go by and then buy spy at 1030 every day. So whenever they got a chance, maybe before they go to work that day, they could just come on. They would turn this on. I'm going to go to uh, Tuesday because Monday is a holiday. I'm going to go to Tuesday and I'm going to set this order for 10. Um, if I could type for 1030 and I'll just put this at 00 for for clarity's sake. So now at 116 on Tuesday, it being a Saturday right now while I'm making this video, at 1030, I want to buy spy. Save, I would hit confirm now on Tuesday at 1030. No matter, you know, I don't have to look at the I don't have to open my thinkorswim anymore. You have that order set up. You can send it out. And if you want to, obviously, you can set that order. Then you can go set one for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You can set all your week's orders and then maybe come when you get off work at 5 p.m., go sell, sell, sell. That's obviously it, all depending on your strategy. But that's what that bit of the conditional formatting is doing for you. Obviously, cancel all the same thing. Say for whatever reason you want to, if you're not filled, you want to cancel this order at noon if you don't get filled at a certain price because you can set certain things too. You can set, um, we didn't talk about this too much. Actually, maybe I should, but if the mark being the current price is less than uh, SPY is currently trading at 475.60. So you can set this at 475. Say, I want to buy after 1030, not for the first hour of the day, because I don't want to get caught in all the choppiness. After 1030, I'm looking to buy SPY if it breaks below 475. But if it hasn't done that by call it 305 in the afternoon, I also don't I want to cancel this order because I don't want to be in for the last hour power hour volatility either there's sort of an, an idea of a strategy that's created for you. And once again, you can read that all of that is being laid out in this description very nicely here for you. So that's sort of the last bit of conditional formatting. That's sort of the last bit of what I have to cover today. This is real automated orders within thinkorswim now do you still have to go set the do you still have to go set the orders of course you do is it fully automated is this like quant trading algo trading of course not that stuff unfortunately cannot be done through this application but this is very nice i mean if you, especially if you're swing trading and it, it can be done for day trading obviously but you'll still have to be a little bit more on the ball but if you're swing trading you can really set and forget these orders i mean you really you can go set these orders on multiple different stocks and then go to work and then at the end of the day when you get off work at, or at 4 p.m right before market close just see if you're in stocks and see if any of your sell conditions are true and then at that point that's all you need to do right so it's very nice. It's very useful. Hopefully, you guys found some use out of it. If you made it to the end of the video, I always say the people that watch the entire videos, you guys are the ones that really have a chance to make it. You guys are the ones really taking your trading education seriously. And I like to give you guys a little bit of an extra bonus. So if while I've been talking, you've been contemplating maybe this day trading strategies, you know, maybe this is worth $25. You know, I'm going to give you right now a coupon code. Use coupon code END at checkout and you're going to get your first month for only $15. So if you thought it might be worth 25 just for watching my video, I'm going to give you $10 off your first month. So now for only $15, you can get access to all these conditional formatting uh, templates if you want to start laying out some orders yourself, right? Obviously, as well as everything else. So top of the description, daytradingstrategies.net. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. If you made it to the end, you obviously enjoy this type of content. We're putting it out all the time. So why not subscribe? It's completely free. With all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign out of this video, but I'm going to link you all to a video here that goes over how I back test my strategies within Thinkorswim.